ביאור משנה י'. אגב הסיום של המשנה הקודמת, since we already mentioned in the previous Mishnah that we just did, that he was mentioned for, that the sages praised him, מוסיפה משנתנו והמשנה הבאה לספר על אנשים שחידשו איזו דבר במקדש. So we're going to see that there's many people who made improvements in the temple. So we're going to discuss the improvements. So the first Mishnah, Mishnah Yud, is going to discuss uh, improvements for the good. And the next Mishnah is going to d- discuss improvements for the bad. Or not improvements, things that happen to the bad. <laughs> we'll see. Not the not, not the Kiyor, other things. Oh. Yeah. Some are good, some are bad. Not Kiyor, many things. Kiyor is one of them. And we're going to see that some of them were praised and some of them were said they were not good. Ben Katin, the son of Katin, Shaya Kohen Gadol, when he became the high priest, there was a kior, um, a container, of, it was made out of brass, that you used to wash your hands and feet with it. And it used to be, before, it used to have only one spout. You know, one spout. So he said, look, the most people who use it at one time is 12. Because for the bull, you need 12 people to take the, the 12 parts for the bull. Exactly. So that's the most ever. So let's make that you can approve all these guys together. That's right. All of the, these guys together can do the rechitza. So he made 12 asardad bearers la kiyo. He made 12 spouts to the kiyo. שהוא המקדש, to the container in the מקדש, שהיו הכהנים רוחצים מנהם ידיהם ורגליהם, that the כהנים used to wash their legs and their feet, their hands and their legs. שלא היו לו אלא שניים. Oh, before that, how many were there? Before him, it only had two. So when he came, he said, two is not enough, it's not nice, let's have it twelve, so it will be nicer. שני ברזים בלבד, before that there were only two. בברייט הם בגמרא מבואר. The Gemara explains, Hatam Shasa Shnei Masar Beres, the reason why they made twelve, Kedei Shiyochlu Shnei Masar Kohanim Asukim Bekorban Atamid, that the twelve Kohanim that are busy in the Korban Atamid, Hainu Elu Shezachu Bepais Sheni, which means this is the second lottery that we discussed before, Lekadesh Et Yedehem Veragleem Kechat, to sanctify their hands and legs like one. ואומנם שלושה עשר כהנים נמנו במשנה, but look, if you look back to the Mishnah, it's Mishnah ב' ג', there were thirteen כהנים, so what's going on? אבל אחד מהם הוא השוחט, but since one of them is the one who used to slaughter, וזה אינו טעון קידוש ידיים ורגליים. The slaughterer doesn't need to wash, is not part of the ceremony, it's just slaughterer. We said slaughtering is even in a zar, Israel can slaughter the animal. Yeah? So he's not part of it. I mean, of but course he, he did it. Yeah, it. of course he did it, but it's not necessary. Because the shechita can be done by anybody. Anybody who knows how to shecht can do the shechita. And also he, Ben Katin, Asa Muchni Lekiyo. Oh, Ben Katin, besides the 12 spouts, he did another thing. He made the Muchni for the Kiyo. What's this Muchni? There's a concept, yeah, there's a concept in uh, Halacha that says Ma'im Shelano, water that stayed overnight. When water stays overnight, they're not kosher, you need to spow them out. Yeah, according to Halacha today also, yeah, you know, the, the water is, if not, not in the closed container, needs to be w- thrown out. So over there, what used to happen, the container used to stay overnight, and then the next morning it had some water, so it used to pour out the water and refill it. And it was, so, so, so he decided, you know what we're going to do? We're going to make like a big wheel with uh, some pulley chains and we're going to connect it to the top of the, this container, the brass container. And at night, they used to put him into the river, the into way. the Ma'ayan. Yeah, so it will, the water will go over, it will not be considered. Um, and then in the morning, they will just raise it up. So let's read it inside. Asa muchni lekiyo. He made the muchni for the kiyor, a machine. Galgal shal etz, a wheel of wood, leshakea et al yado et ha kiyor bebor shal mayim, to put with him the kiyor, this brass container, in a pit of water. Shelo yiyu meimam nifsalim belena. So that way the water is not going to become uh, not, not good 
overnight. שהכיור הוא כלי שרת, because the cure is a vessel. וכל דבר המתקדש בכלי שרת נפסל בלינה. And everything that stays in a vessel overnight becomes not good. מתוך כך היו צריכים לשפוך בכל בוקר את המים מן הכיור ולבלו מהם אחרים. So every morning they needed to, before that they needed to pour all the water out and put new water in. שאף, שהמים, שאף המים שבכיור הנפסלים בלינה, because also the water that was in the container overnight became not good. ואילו על ידי המוכני התחברו המים שבכיור למים שבבור ולא נפסלו. By the מוכני they connected the water to natural water and it wasn't, uh, became uh, not good. ויש מפרשים דאר דוזו אקספיין שמוכני הוא כלי, מוכני זה וסל, שממנו היו באים המים לכיור כפי הצורך. It's not exactly that. There... Yeah, it was like a pump, according to how much you need, you put it in. ולא היו נפסלים באותו כלי בלינה שאינו כלי שרת. So it was a second, since it was not a vessel that was used for the purpose of Beit HaMikdash, in other words, they didn't use that vessel for washing their hands, they used that vessel to fill in that, that vessel. So since that, that, that's a muhni. That's right. Because it's not, a, that's right. And whatever they needed the water, they would pour into this and then they would take from this. Sheino klisharit. Okay. Up to here is the muhni. And that was Ben Katin. We say great guy. He did two good things. Mun baza melech. There was Mun baz, a king. Shel chadiev. Where is Khadiyev? Medina Betzfon Aram Naharaim. It's a country in the north of Aram Naharaim, the north of Iraq, somewhere. Mesopotamia. Shidgayer imimo hileni. By the way, he's, uh, you probably know, it's a famous name today in Judaism, Helena. Helena Yeah, because this is Helena. Now, she actually, she was a Greek. It's a, uh, the, 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 it was the Assyrian Empire. I don't know if they were Greeks, but uh, she, she, they, she was the one who actually converted to Judaism, and he was one of her sons. She actually converted to Judaism, so that's why Helena is a very common name today, in, even though it's, not, it's a Greek name, but it's a very common name because of Helena. Amen. This was a few years before the destruction of the Second Temple, she converted to Judaism. So he was her son. Mun Bazamelech was a Jew. Yeah? Her son. Haya Ose Kol Yedot Akelim Shil Yom HaKippurim Shil Zahav. He came and he says, look, you're using vessels on Yom Kippur. Obviously, the, the blade itself is not allowed to be out of gold. It's too soft. It needs to be metal. But at least you can make the handles out of gold. So he went through the entire Bet Amidash. It says, at least on Yom Kippur, I want everybody, all the vessels to be used with golden uh, handles. Bagmara Medvuar, in the Gemara, they explains, Shemidubar bekelim sheif shal asot otam atzmam shel zahav. Kegon sakini bekadumim. It says, all the other vessels were anyway made out of gold. In the temple, everything was made out of gold. But over here, we're talking about things that you cannot use out of gold. For example, axes and stuff like this. It's too soft. ולכן מסופר כאן, and therefore it's told over here, שעשה ידו תוהם של זהב. So he says, if not the, the metal part, at least the handle part, you can make out of gold. הילני אימו, so his mother herself, עשתה נברשת של זהב על פתחו של היכל. In the opening of the house, the היכל, she put a chandelier of gold. By the way, this chandelier, we already learned the barakai. You remember the barakai? that they used to wait in the morning until their east was all red, only then they did the job. We learned before, we, we, how, how did they know when to do the job, to start the job oh, of the Kohanim? So they That's right. They, so they, after that, after she made it, they would wait until the chandelier would shine. Oh, Once the chandelier the shined, chandelier. they would know, okay, this is the time. The because the sun will go on it, yeah. הילני אמו עשתה נברשת של זהב על פתרו של חסטה. She made this chandelier of gold on the opening of the hall. בגמרא מובאת מובאת ברייתא, in the Gemara there's a ברייתא that says, בשעה שהחמה זורכת, at the time that the sun used to come up, ניצוצות יוצאים ממנה. It used to sparkle. והכל יודעים שהגיע זמן קריאת שמע. And then everybody would know this is the time for שמע. You can see. כלומר, כשהנברשת הייתה נוצצת, this golden... Thing, a chandelier used to, 
to sparkle, ומבריקה מקרני החמה העולה, from the, from the rays of the sun. ועל ידי כך היו אנשי ירושלים יודעים שהגיע זמן קריאת שמע. And this was the clock, you, you know, you wanted to know if it's time to say שמע? Look at the Beta Mikdash. Oh, it's sparkling? Okay, you can say שמע. ואף היא עשתה טבלה של, טבלה של זהב שפרשת סוטה, סוטה כתובה עליה. And also, until then, when you want, there was the, the woman who went with another man, and you don't know if she actually did the deed with him, the whole story of the Sota, it was copied into a piece of parchment and then it was erased. And it usually, usually it was copied from another parchment. But she says, no, in the temple, so she made a golden tablet and she put that parsha so that the soifer who writes it is going to look at the tablet, not at another thing, another golden stuff. So the soifer, the kohen, is going to copy from it the, parsh, the portion of the soita when it's necessary. Like it says, וכתב את האלות האלה הכהן בספר, and he's going to write all these curses in a book, ומחה אל מי המרים, and he's going to erase it to the water, ולא יהיו צריכים לטטל לשם זה ספר תורה, you don't need to take a whole ספר תורה, because you can get just that. ניקנור, and there was another thing in the temple. ניקנור נעשו ניסים לדלדותיו. This is a famous story, it's a book, it's a story for uh, children books, you probably heard about it. But Nicanor made the gate, the main gates to the Talotav. Babraita Bagmara Mesupar, in the Braita, the Gemara tells a story. She Nicanor alach le Alexandria shel Mitzrayim, lavid latot le Sharia Mikdash. Nicanor was one of the richest guys. He had a whole merchant of, he, was a, he had a whole fleet of uh, ships. He was a big trader. And he sold his entire fleet. just for that. He wanted to donate the doors for the temple. So he went to Egypt, to Alexandria over there, and he made two brass doors and he put them on the temple of the Lord. And he made two brass doors, they were made out of brush, whatever, the, the, the trees, cypress were covered with copper. And when he came back from the temple of the Lord, and when he came back with the doors on a boat, עמד על הנושאים שר גדול בים מטבה, there was a big storm in the sea. And there's a rule by the sailors. By the way, I don't know if, if the rule applies today, but in that, in that time the rule applies. What goes overboard first, if in time of the, of the storm, because you wanted the, the ship to be up, it says it, has, it doesn't go by value, it goes by weight. So whatever weighs more goes over first. So that's what it says. So what did the sailors do? נטלו אחת מן הדלתות והטילו לים. So they started to say, hey, there's a storm, things go overboard. So they took one of the doors and threw it into the sea. כדי להקל ממסע הספינה, so that it's going to be lighter for the boat. וכשלא נוח הים, מזעפו רצו לתת השנייה. And it was still stormy, they were about to throw the other one in. עמד ניקנור וחיבק את הלד דלת. ניקנור came and he jumped on top of the door and he hugged it. בזרועותיו ואמר להם, with his arms, and he said to them, אם אתם מטילים אותה, תלוני אימה לים. It says, if you throw this one, throw me with it to the sea. מיד נח הים מזעפו. Immediately after he did it, the storm stopped. והיה ניקנור מצטער הרבה על חברותיי. Now ניקנור is thinking, I'm going to become, come to Akko, you know, with the door, and what, one door? How does it look? כיוון שהגיעה הספינה לנמל של עכו, once the boat came to the um, port of עכו, הייתה הדלת הראשונה מבצבצת ויוצאת מתחת דופני הספינה. This copper door start, floated from underneath the boat, even though it was copper. דלתת אלו העמידו בשער המזרח של האזהרה כנגד פתח ההיכל. And these uh, doors they put the, as the main gates opposite the opening of the Hechal. ומבואר בברייתא, and it is told in the Brayta that once they had money, they started to have more and more money in the temple, כל השערים שהיו במקדש נשתנו להיות של זהב. They started covering it, all the other gates with gold. So all the other gates were covered with gold. חוץ משערי ניקנור, except the gates of ניקנור, that they always remained uh, copper. Why? מפני שנעשו בהם ניסים. 
because this is the oh no 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 these ones you leave as it is this one is a me me not him later on oh, after the generations they were they, they had more money they wanted to change all the copper doors into gold doors so they did everything except this one and they used to mention this Nikano. And all these people that we discuss in this Mishnah say Leshvach. The, the sages used to praise them. These guys are the guys who improved our temple. They were praised in all the things that they were done.